Okay, so today you're going to do a review of place value, and we're going to be practicing counting tens and ones. Um, so right here we have, let's see, we have a group of 10. There's one 10, and I know it's a 10 because if I count the little cubes, there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So 10 ones makes up one 10. Um, so I have two of them. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write that I have two tens. Now when I look down here, here are my ones. How many ones do you see? One, two, three. So I have three ones. So what number does this represent? Well, if I have two tens and I have three ones, then it's going to be 23. Let's try this again. So we're going to start over. I'm going to drag down a couple of tens and then a couple of ones. So I want you to think how many tens do you see? How many tens do you see there? I see one, two, three. So there are three tens. We'll make a little chart. And there's how many ones? One, two, three, four, five. And there are five ones. So what number did I just make? What number did I build right here? I built the number 35. Now let's practice without having that tens and ones chart. So when I bring down my tens, I'm gonna count them by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50, and then I'm gonna add some ones. I have to start counting um, by ones after 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So I just built the number 55. Now let's try another one. So I'm just going to bring down a couple of tens and some ones. And I want you really quick to see if you can count how much this is. What number did I just build? So I'm gonna give you just a moment to try and count it yourself. Okay, let's see if you got the same answer as me. So I always wanna start with the largest value. So I'm gonna start with my tens and I have to count them by tens since they're worth 10. So we have 10, 20, 30. Now I'm moving on to my ones and I have to switch to counting by ones. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So if you counted 36, you got the correct answer. Let's try one more. Okay. So I want you to count my tens and my ones. And then I want you to tell me what you think I have here. What did I build? So I'm gonna give you just a moment to go ahead and count it yourself. Okay, so I start with my largest value. I have one 10, so I'm gonna say 10. And now I gotta count on 11, 12, 13, 14. So if you counted 14, you counted correctly. Um, now you'll move on to the next page in Seesaw and you'll get some more practice.